show a kind of two minute movie of when, when I first got interested in making music with other creatures is when I was, I had thought about music and nature for some time, but I hadn't spent much time actually engaging with all those more than human musicians out there in the world. And uh, so, so my friend Michael Peskin invited me to play along with the birds of the National Aviary. We were there at 6 a.m. I was walking around with my clarinet. I mean, most of the birds didn't really care what I had to say, except this one bird, the white-crested laughing thrush. You know, I was really surprised at his interest in what I was doing. <laughs> Hard to get a handle 
online by listening. So one thing you can do with technology, something that used to be before recording, you couldn't do very easily. And as recording got more advanced and more flexible, what used to require specialized equipment is very easy to do on any computer or on any iPhone or any device. You can slow it down. You slow down that same wood thrush. It sounds like this. structure of each phrase, an organization, a, you know, a form, a pattern, a form and pattern that is not generally believed to carry a lot of information. Like you're not going to be able to decode this and say what each syllable means. It's much more like a piece of music. It has a sense of form and organization for its own sake somehow. There's a right and wrong way to sing this song. Take the wood thrush song, mess it up a little. Wood thrushes don't care as much. Another bird looks just like the wood thrush. Sings called the Viri, sings this song. Very hard for humans to notice it. When you slow this down, it's totally remarkable. Phrases in a different place. 